Good morning, YouTube web. My name is Nathan, and this is Robot Masters channel, a fairly new channel, basically covering anything that's robotic, anything that has a processor, I will cover. Uh, so, in the last two weeks, I wasn't expecting much, you know. The first week, I wasn't expecting much. I think I started out with one subscriber, and now I'm at close to 60. So I want to personally thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you. That means a lot to me. It shows that you guys are interested, that the videos I'm uploading is worthwhile, and it's helping you guys out. Because ultimately, the whole point of this channel is to provide you a consumer's perspective of if these robots are great or if they're trash. Um, because I've had so many bad experiences with robots that were companies will push their products and they're really not ready for prime time. Um, so, uh, for example, unfortunately, while I love the Kika, which is basically a projector on wheels, their company went under after only a uh, year's worth of production. So the support on the Kika is no longer available. And that's what I want to kind of help you out with, guys, is um, if this company is going to be there for the long run, if there's going to be software updates, does the company stand behind their products? And that's what I will provide these videos, stress test these robots. Um, so I did look back at the comments and feedback on all my videos, and I like to respond back to you guys. It's been fun. And I get a lot of questions about the Roomba S9 and the Brava M6. And that's expected, you know, these are still fairly new products, only been on the market for about a month. Um, so I tried to cover videos to answer these questions, but I think the main question is Should I upgrade Upgrade to the Roomba S9 or should I stick with my i7 or should I get the i7? Which is basically Roomba's last generation robot. So why are people asking this question? Because you know usually robots you buy them once keep them for three to five years. It's not something you like, hey, uh, I got the newest robot vacuum. You know, you basically shove it in the closet somewhere. When it's time to clean, it goes out, does its clean job, comes back in. But I think what people are bummed out about is well, the Room S9 came out seven months after the i7. So a lot of people felt cheated. So here's one thing to know, and I think I read this on the internet. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the iRobot will personally uh, assess a case-by-case -case scenario if you bought the i7 through iRobot, not through a retail store, but through the website uh, iRobot.com. If you bought the i7 through them, they will refund you the entire purchase price of the i7 and then you just pay the difference. And if, once I read that, I was like, wow, that's really cool, iRobot. Um, it really shows that you care about your customers. You care that they were bummed out that the i7 was only the new robot for seven months. And, you know, that's the stuff I like to look out for and let you guys know. Um, and I think in some of my videos, it may look like I'm bashing the Roomba S9 or the Bravo M6. It's not the case. Um, I'm just trying to show you what I saw, you know. I, sometimes you can't really show this in laboratory test results. Um, it's great to know the CF in them. Uh, it's great to know the battery life. Uh, it's great to know in environment like, you know, test laboratory conditions, how well it can clean. But really, you got to have a home, got to have obstacles, got to have children or whatever, pets. Um, just every day uh, clean and see how well these guys can do out in the real world. And that's what I'm here to do. So let me go ahead and go through some of the comments you guys asked about the uh, two robots. I'm just going to scroll down through my uh, feed here. Uh, so my latest video is the Shag Rug Test. I basically had the Roomba S9, the M6, Robolock, the 360, and the Vinigo uh, run a Shag Test. Uh, this video is kind of unique in a way that these robots kind of pretend like they're yelling at each other. Um, I think it makes it a little bit more interesting, but let me know in the comments if you guys like that style of video or if you want me to keep it more informative. Um, so let's see, one of the comments says, surprisingly manages shag carpets quite well. The S9, however, struggles in this area. This is from Brody 
the kidney. Um, and that's the one thing I want to get the i7 to see if the i7 does do better with the shag drug test. Um, I was talking to there's one person that says exclusively NYC, uh, Roller Masters. I might have just have to get a regular vacuum for my shag. And then he gives me some, um, I guess, crying faces. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, that's interesting. Um, yeah, even though I do have a couple uprights, I own a uh, shark and some knockoff vacuums, they still get bogged down on my shag rug. Uh, it's a one inch shag rug and it, it's really hard on a lot of these vacuums. So yeah, maybe an upright vacuum would help, just a regular vacuum. Um, another one from the same person says, Robot Masters, I just watched a video of the Xiaomi Roborock on shag carpet. It seems to work well. And I replied back to him, yes, the Roborock is a decent performer, um, but on my one inch test, I kept getting errors. Uh, it was the, I believe the error was the side brush. It kept getting bogged down. So, um, so maybe on a quarter inch or a half inch shag rug, the Roborock can do well. So basically, in that latest video, the 360 S6 was the only vacuum that was able to perform that shag rug test. Um, okay, let's keep going down in history. Uh, let's check out my other comments I got. Uh, so here's a person named Daniel Cherez. Robot Masters, hey, thank you so much for the fast and honest response. And yes, you're right. And right now, I don't have the S5 anymore because I returned it at a time before I couldn't, lol. Uh, let's see. Um, I totally loved it, but I returned it because I found a new S6 was coming out. But S5 was amazing in navigation and almost everything except it doesn't dump itself. And then he gives me some sad faces. Then I bought the EcoBot, the 900 series. Oh man, I was so frustrated that it was going to, that I'm going to return it. Already, it's just junk in navigation. I keep getting lost and nothing compares to the S5. So now, so now with the S9, with the self dumping feature, it is what made me decide for it instead, the Roblox S6. But now, here's another question. Rumor doesn't have virtual batteries either. So in my debating now, I love the virtual batteries and the very ability to know where the robot is in at real times. But I think you are the only one who can help me on deciding which one to get because I see your own S5 too. What do you think? And sorry for the long message, LOL. <laughs> that was, yeah, definitely probably one of my longest comments. But you know, I love these comments. Um, It shows that you guys care if I receive a comment and a, or a question. And I'm always happy to respond to them. Um, I try to respond to questions and comments, you know, within an hour. I have a cell phone. I think I own four, five cell phones I carry on me. Yes, I'm a gadget lover and yes, who, who needs five cell phones? But you know, that's me. I have two smart watches. I carry, uh, yeah, five smartphones. So yeah, I'm kind of ridiculous with the technology, but I just love it. So yeah, so to answer this guy's question, um, I basically told him the S6 is a nice upgrade, but if you only own the S5, just keep it because a $200 price increase is really not worth it. Um, because the S5, uh, S6, sorry, has just slightly better navigation, so in terms of efficiency, um, the noise level is slightly less because it has better um, acoustics, better insulation. Um, it also has uh, a new apps and the features, like now you can just select certain rooms instead of just having to manually dry out areas. Which these are all nice features, but I basically told them keep the S5 or just if you can. Look for a deal on the S6. Um, I believe 600 bucks is what the going rate is for the S6, but maybe a couple months down the road you can find one for 550, 500 bucks. Um, Gearbest always provides really good deals and offers. So just keep checking back on that. Uh, he also was thinking about getting the Roomba S9, which has the self-emptying bin, 
But me personally, I cannot recommend the S9 right now. Um, just from all the videos I've done on it, I think it still needs a little polishing up for consumer use. Uh, I think the big thing for me and a lot of consumers is it runs full speed into walls. Uh, I guess its front sensor here can't really detect uh, objects very well. So that's just my biggest gripe. A lot of minor stuff I could live with, but I think it needs more polishing. So for example, the 360 S6, which I praised in a few of my videos, right out the gate was a pretty rock solid robot. It had very minor glitches, bugs, um, you tell it to go to a room, it cleans that room and then goes back. I haven't had any issues with replacing parts. Um, it's just been a really rock solid robot. And it's a good price too at about $330. Another one I liked was the Roborock. The only downside with my Roborock, maybe I just had a lemon, was the LiDAR sensor went out after six months. Luckily, to replace this sensor, it's pretty cheap, but it's just something to uh, consider. I was going to do a new robot unboxing, which was the I like W400 watch robot. Basically, I felt like this would be a good competitor to the Bravo M6. It's half the price, um, but I think I was going to stress test this and see how well it cleaned. But I'm going to hold off on this guy maybe next month, and we're going to actually focus on the Roomba series some more. Uh, because I, I feel like the rumors are still fairly new and there's still a lot of interest. So I want to kind of be out there and uh, show you what to have offer. So I got a very special surprise for you guys coming. Uh, maybe I'll upload this video this weekend, but it's going to be an unboxing of the i7. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and buy an i7 for you guys. And we're going to compare it to the S9 so we can answer all your questions about if the S9 is a better purchase or is the i7 still the king to beat. So um, I'm sorry, I'm just probably rambling. Um, if there's any questions, feel free to leave a comment in my videos. Hit the like button, always hit the subscribe button if you feel like you want to see more videos. Um, throughout the entire month and hopefully the end of this year, I'll continue uploading videos. I'm going to try to do different robots as well. I do have some that don't just clean the floors. They do other things as well, like scrub the toilet. Yes, I do have a robot that can scrub the toilet. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys have the rest of your weekend. And 4th of July is coming up. And I got an extra special video on the 4th of July. So stay tuned for that one. Um, I think that's about it. Be safe out there and see you next time.